is um, if everyone can, if you've got something to write in, that would be awesome. But I think we could spend like a few minutes just doing some like a gratitude exercise and just writing down things that we're grateful for and just reflecting. And it could, we can combine the two together if you want, like even reflect on like the past year, things you're grateful for over the past year or the past week or whatever. Um, and even today. So let's just spend like five minutes just writing down a list of whatever comes into your head of things that you're grateful for. Um, and then we can do some tapping on really just kind of going, okay, there's a time and a place to fix things and change my mood and like navigate the shit that I'm going through. But there's also a time and a place to just be like, you know what, let's just tune in to realize things are good and let's go and we're going to be okay, um, which is what we're doing today. So yeah, I'll give you five minutes to write out your gratitude list and we'll go from there.
All righty. Was there like a main theme for you guys that you felt like you kept like writing about? Um, I'm curious if there was, let me know in the chat. Otherwise, um, I'd love to know uh, either way, like how you're feeling after writing that. Like, do you feel better than five minutes ago? Like was, or do you feel about the same or where are you at? really blessed awesome yeah and I think like for everyone I'm going to guess that is on this call now and is going to be watching this replay at whatever date like we're in a really fortunate position that to be like yeah we're just in a really fortunate position right like um we've got a warm house roof over our heads or if you're in America you've probably got like a cool house or whatever um food to eat like we're healthy um, or healthy enough to be here. Um, we've got horses in our lives, which is just amazing. Um, so yeah, it's really, really cool to just reflect on those things. Um, Emmy said, grateful for Dave and all he's taught me so far. Beautiful. Um, Beck, you said your list was pretty scattered, helped to ground you. Yeah, it's easy, forget, easy to forget how lucky you are for what you have. Yeah. And I think sometimes you get in a state where, especially if you're very growth minded and goal orientated, you're constantly looking forward to the next thing. And then you forget like, hang on a minute, the past version of me would have killed to be in this position, you know, like, and it's just easy to kind of get caught on moving to the next thing. And um, it's nice to just take a moment to be like, hang on a minute. It's all right for me to feel good where I am while still wanting to improve. Like I don't have to like beat myself up in order for me to, push myself to move forwards like I don't I'm already naturally inclined to keep going I'm fine you know um okay do, do, do. Cassie you said you might be a bit horse skewed lots to be grateful for it's all right it's horse skewed um Rachel you said often forget how many good things you have going yes good to write things down and get it out beautiful Tina uh, Carolyn, realize how far we've come in terms of mindset and training and grateful for healthy horses and family. Totally, totally. Okay, awesome. All right, so we've got the gratitude piece down, Pat, and now we can think about, let's just do some do some tapping because I already know where we're going to go with this. Um, let me take this off <laughs> because basically, I'm not sure if any of you guys have tried this. I've probably shared it with some people, but there's a beautiful practice that... Um, uh, a woman I follow, her name's Gala Darling. She does a lot of tapping, um, but in a, not in the horsey space. Um, and she's got a practice that she calls the magical morning practice, where what you do is you speak for a minute or two about things that you're grateful for, and you just voice record it on your phone. Um, so you speak for a minute or two about things that you're grateful for. Then you talk about your days, if it's already happened perfectly. So it's in past tense. So it's like, Today was amazing. I woke up, blah, 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 blah. I had the best session with my horse, whatever. And then for the last part, you talk about your future life as if it's already happened as well. So it could be like, my, I've got my beautiful property. It's set up. It's amazing. It backs onto a forest. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? So you're really casting that vision and just setting that inside. And I think it's a really beautiful practice. And I feel like we can kind of guide ourselves through this in this tapping session today. Um, because yeah, it just really sets you up for going, okay, let's just like plant these visions inside my subconscious so that we've got something to kind of think about rather than just the things that we are struggling with or we need to fix or move through. Um, and then you just, I don't know, you just got a different perspective at, on life. Um, so yeah, if anyone's interested in doing that practice, I highly recommend it. Um, and you can also do it where if you pair up with someone, you share the audios with each other. And it's really, really fun. Um, I've got a friend that I'll do this with. We're not great at doing it every day. Um, but when we do do it, then we reply back and it's cool because you, it feels like it's real. Like she'll be like, oh my God, your property is amazing. Like, I'm so excited to see all the photos of it. Like, it looks so cool. Um, and I'm like, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> you know? like, it doesn't feel like it's not, hasn't happened. Um so yeah, it's cool to kind of tap into that, but let's do a little bit of that. Actually, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, just a general idea of like what some of your longer term goals are. Like 
is it I know for some of you it's like to do with horses or whatever but just like throw some goals at me in the chat um and it can be horse related property related health related whatever um and just let me know in the chat so I can just get a vibe as to where we're all at All right, Jaranka, you want to get your PhD in conservation research and trail riding with Levita in a neck rope. Beautiful. Cassie, FEI dressage um, and do something horse adjacent. Adjacent? Is that what you meant? Okay. Horse adjacent for a living instead of fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. Amazing. Yes. Love it. Beck started and be confident riding all the babies property set up to fill all your dreams fulfill all your dreams open stables and arena epic awesome uh, rachel work on a more balanced life where you can prioritize things you love like spending time with your horse yeah totally totally yeah and i think it's always fun to kind of um think about and maybe we'll see how this tapping goes depending on the time um but it's always good to kind of reflect on okay what's the ideal like week or life that I want to ultimately have and how can I start to kind of do some of those things now if you have the ability to or just be aware of it right because I think so often you get sort of stuck in routines and you feel like you have to do things a certain way like I remember when I was working um a normal normal job that I didn't really like and I was driving an hour there and an hour back and not earning like huge like great money and didn't love it and I was like I'm doing this all just to pay for my horses it doesn't make sense like it didn't add up like especially in winter it would really hit me because I'm like why am I doing all of this to pay for my horses when I can't even spend time with them you know, so it's just like realizing that there are other options available and whether it might not be like right now that you can dive into it, um, but just knowing that that's the case and you don't have to settle for those things forever, you know. Um, what else we got here? Emma, you said move up in training levels in dressage and ride tackless. Tina, you said connect with your homebred stock and be confident in your training and make your own self-belief. Beautiful. Okay, awesome. All right, well, let's do some um, tapping and we'll see where it goes because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, just repeat after me. I am really grateful for the position I'm in right now. Just the fact alone that I can connect with all of these people from all over the place and talk about horses and everything else feels something to be really excited about because it wasn't that long ago where I didn't have a community like this. And I was feeling really alone. And I feel really grateful to be in a position to just have horses in my life. They are the ultimate self-development tool. Even though I might not have realized that at one point. <laughs> And they are constantly guiding me to be a better version of myself. And just spending time with them is incredible. So 
but I'm so grateful for that. I am really grateful for having all of the animals in my life because they ground me. They force me to get all happy and giddy when I see them. And they get me to move. <laughs> like think about how many people don't have animals in their life. And they're just missing out on all of this extra movement they could be doing. <laughs> and joy they could be experiencing. I'm also grateful to have a roof over my head. Clothes to wear to suit the weather. Food to eat. And the ability to go after my goals. It's pretty cool that I'm in such a safe position where all of my basic needs are met that I can now strive for more. That's something that a lot of people in the past and present don't have the opportunity to do. So I really want to take the time to soak in all of this gratitude and recognize how blessed I am And also allow myself to make the most of what I've been given. And I'm choosing to believe that everything happens for a reason. And I'm in the position I'm in right now because of the path that I'm meant to take. So as I feel full of this gratitude and appreciation for the life that I have, I just want to take note just briefly of the times where I get stuck in my head and perhaps miss out on some of this gratitude. And even though sometimes I get stuck in my head and forget to soak in all that I have, I deeply and completely love and accept and forgive myself. But today, instead of dwelling on that, I'm choosing to soak in this gratitude And cast this amazing vision as if it's already happened. Now I'm going to close my eyes right now. And if anyone forgets the tapping points, it doesn't matter. You can't get it wrong. <laughs> my life is freaking amazing. I feel so blessed because my horses are going so well. And we are doing all the things that I dreamed of only years ago. That could be trail riding or competing, bridleless riding or starting them under saddle. or just connecting with them on a deeper level. I've freaking done this. And it feels so good to connect with them on such a deep level. And another amazing part 
is my property is incredible. I've got everything that I had on my vision board or had planted in my mind. I have enough money to buy all the amazing feed that I need. I have beautiful areas to ride in. And my house is exactly as I always wanted. Everything is perfect. I have amazing friends in my life, both in person and online, that are so like-minded and I can share all of my wins with them. I feel so blessed to have them in my life. And I'm also working in this amazing job that gives me an amazing work-life balance so that I have time to spend with my horses and love the career that I have. It is incredible. And I make sure that I take stock every day of the things that I'm grateful for and remember where I'm going because I know that I can get there. I've already come this far and I'm in a position that my past self only could have dreamed of So that only shows me that I can achieve anything I set my mind to. Seriously, anything is possible. So I'm just going to take a moment to soak in the life that I have in this image right now. And take a nice, big, deep breath. And just reflect back on the times in the past where I always held this vision. Even if it felt tough at times, I made it through all of those difficult moments. And I freaking knew that I could do this. And here I am. Let's go and see what we can do next. All right, take a big deep breath. Open your eyes. Sorry, I cried the whole time through that because of my scar I got in my eyes. <laughs> so if you watch the replay, <laughs> I was like crying the whole time. Oh, dear. All right, let me know in the chat how you're feeling. Mood definitely boosted. Excellent. <laughs> Always feel so good after tapping. Amazing. Bet you said like the horses when they're processing. <laughs> Lots of yawning. Amazing. Uh, content and centered. Beautiful. Ooh. Emma, you said you feel like a weight's been lifted and a smack in the face to be grateful for everything. Totally, totally. Yes. Because it's like, fuck needing to fix things all the time and dwell on your struggles. Let's go. <laughs> you know, we're good. We are so good. Um, awesome. All right. What was the other thing I was going to say to you guys that we could reflect on, but I've completely forgotten. 
don't know this escaped me it mustn't be important enough <laughs> okay cool i'm just going to pull a card and we'll see what we'll get let me pull two I think this works. So we've got, uh, you did your best, which is perfect, relevant. So we're recognizing we're doing our best. We're good. But let's fucking embrace some change, you know? <laughs> let's do something differently, right? And I think, um, I don't know about you guys, but everyone is different. Like sometimes we get so stuck in the pattern, like I spoke about earlier, of needing to fix things and change things and like figure out what the problem is so that we can address it. And sometimes it's like, you don't need to do that. You just need to figure out what can you do to feel better? You know what I mean? What can you do to feel good? Um, because if you're stuck in here all the time, like you know that you just go round and round in circles until you go outside and do the thing. Until you put on some music, until you have a bath, have a shower, like take the... do whatever you oh am I back sorry I think I froze <laughs> there we go dropping in and out not sure it's it hopefully it's okay now um but basically what I was saying is if you feel like you're stuck in your head or you're overanalyzing, you're like, oh, I feel annoyed about this situation. You need to do something that involves moving your body to change it. You can't just loop in your head. It doesn't work. So it could be what I was saying before is like put on a, some songs that make you feel good, dance around like an idiot, do some tapping, journal it out, um, have a bath, shout, do the thing that you actually are resisting the most. Um, that's what you need to do. And then that's going to help. So Beck said poo picking helped you before. Yeah, totally. Sometimes it's just like, you just got to go just do something. And then you're ticking two boxes off. Cause it's like, okay, you need to do that anyway. And you're moving. You know? So um, just a reminder, like whenever you're up here, how can you get back into your body and do something that's going to allow you to feel good rather than just attack yourself the whole time. All right. Well, I hope everyone has a lovely rest of the day and I will see you guys in our next session whenever that is and whenever you can attend. Um, but if you have any ideas for our next session, um, please feel free to let me know either by social media or reply to like the email announcements I send out if you've got any topic ideas. I'm more than happy to kind of brainstorm. But I think alongside this as well, what I'd love to talk about, I'm not sure when is... Um, if any of you are interested in just hearing like basics of like human design, because I think this could help people like realize how different they are and tuning into um, how to basically when you look at your energy type and the way you're meant to make decisions, that's a really good blueprint to feeling good. Right. Um, so yeah, maybe we can talk about that in a, in a future session. We'll see when it comes up. Um, okay. Awesome. One thing I'd re recommend that you guys do um, is, and I might send this out in a connected session email, is uh, <laughs> look at your human design chart so you can work out what your energy type is um, and you can have it ready so that when we do that session and I'll figure out, we'll do it the next like 6 p.m. time slot. So whenever that is in a, at the end of the month, I think. Yeah. Anyway. Whenever it is at the end of the month, we'll do it then. Um, but just make sure you've looked at your human design chart. Basically, all you have to do, I'll send you a link. You have to put in your birth date and time and location, and then it will spit out a chart. If you're not sure about the location, um, you can put in a few different times in the software and see whether like your chart changes like hugely. <laughs> um, if it doesn't, then that'll be okay for the main pieces. But if it does, We'll see what we can do. Um, but otherwise, we can have a play around with that and explore and go from there. All right. Have an awesome week. Go get it. You guys are killing it. And I'll see you later. Bye.